Let's get into this, Aurora. The conflict of the mind. Da, da. <laughs> okay, I did not like the laugh at the end. That was a bit creepy. Um, okay, this one was... No surprise here, it was a lot different than the other ones I've heard. Uh, reading through all the comments, everybody's like, oh, all of her stuff is completely different. And with every song, that seems to be coming more and more true. Uh, because they each seem to stray completely in the opposite direction from the previous one I've heard. The closest, I think, to this one that I've heard is... Um, let me pull it up really quick. Probably, yeah, probably a temporary high in my head is the closest to this one just because it felt more kind of uh electronic based while this one kind of is on the same lane but it still sounds a lot different one thing i found interesting is whatever that vocal effect is it sounds like the uh, character in portal 
like the the main like robot villain i'm making a note here huge success i can't remember her name this reminds me of gladys from the portal gives no way turn top did you say that before i even mentioned that there's no way okay so i'm not absolutely out of my mind also you have the uh you have the name GLaDOS. I could not remember that for the life of me. <laughs> that is so funny. But it, it kind of sounds similar to that, which I think is kind of funny and interesting at the same time. That being said, though, I think this song is going to be more of a grower on me. I feel like this is one I'm going to have to listen to again because the choruses I really love, the uh, in-betweens that I was talking about earlier during the song. Let me find a part where it's doing it really quick. It's going to be easier. This, this right here. Like, that's one of my favorite parts. The bridge, I think, was all right. Something about the verses, like, I can just tell it's going to be growing on me rather than the first time listening. Because right now, I find them just kind of, I, 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 like, wish that there was more variation to them. Because they're obviously meant to sound robotic and very just kind of, they're supposed to sound like that. Like, it's an art, it's definitely a choice to do that. And I think that'll take me more getting used to. Because she does like her normal kind of uh, voice variations in the chorus a lot, which I that's one of the main things I really like about her. But yeah, and also just <laughs> thinking about it, this song is just kind of sad. It Like when you're listening to it, it feels more kind of on a melancholy, a melancholy type of sound. But when you actually like are looking at the lyrics, it's obviously about um, a loved one leaving Aurora. Probably to heaven because it mentions gates. And usually that's uh, referred to heaven with the pearly gates. Um, it's kind of hard to say, but that seems to be a pretty, that seems to be a pretty uh, basic um, meaning to get out of the song, from what I understand. Overall, though, I'd say that's, uh, it's definitely a good song. I don't think I like it as much as the other ones I've heard so far, but again, I'll have to listen to this more, and for sure I'm posting this as a video too, and I'll probably listen to it more, and then I'll add a message at the end saying how I feel about it then. Hey guys, so just like I said, I went back, I listened to it a couple more times off stream, and I think the verses did grow me a little bit. Not a whole lot, I still feel pretty similar to them, how I did before, uh, but now it's more like I look at the verses as like necessary to make the choruses as good as they are, because I really, really, really like the choruses, and I think those like valleys of the verses really just kind of... Uh, make the choruses that much better. So I think that makes the song just overall feel better for me as a whole. Um, either way though, it's not like I didn't like the song either. I, I, I feel like I made it pretty clear, but I think it's like I still really like the song just compared to her other songs. It's not quite as good for me. Uh, but even then though, I think I still do like it a smidge better than what I did uh, originally during my original reaction. So that, that that's where I'm at now. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to it. Damn, I like Aurora now, <laughs> or a lot now. That's good to hear. She seems to be a really, really good artist, especially because she has this constant variation in her music, which I think is a really good sign that an artist is truly an artist. Like, Not to say that people that don't change their stuff aren't artists, but I think it puts you on a different level if you're able to adapt to different sounds. And to me, at least, that's, that's very impressive. Damn, her voice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, her voice is like an instrument. Yeah, that's one thing I feel like... Well, first of all, her voice is really good, so I think that kind of is part of, part of the reason why, but also that effect, I feel like when you use those effects on your vocals, you do really have to use your voice as an instrument rather than a voice. That's kind of how just uh, auto-tune is in general, actually, because you have to work your voice completely differently to make auto-tune work the way that you want it to, and I'm sure that's pretty similar with the uh, other vocal effects. JSP, can I donate? I mean... <laughs> If you really want to, there's a link down in the description of this. There's both the merch store, so then you can donate and get something back in return. And then I actually have the leave a tip link too. 